Welcome to the TV Spotlight. Our guest today is one of the keynote speakers at TICON, Ashish Tucker. Ashish, you have a wonderful, very inspiring story. First of all, tell us how, you know, tell us about your story and how you got started. So I was, um, I was 15 years old. Um, uh, we'd just come out of Rwanda after being refugees uh, there for about three weeks with my sister and my parents. So I quit school, I needed to do something about it, so, um, and started a little business um, with about $5,500 in 1996. Wow. And so that business started off earlier on just as a, a little store, and then you moved on to Dubai, and you've now grown it into this global enterprise. What was that process like? It was, um, it was challenging mm -hmm. and exciting. I think it was um, challenging because naturally you're going to face a lot of challenges along the way. I've fallen flat on my face many times, uh, but I kept at it. Um, I think having a positive mindset helps. But bottom line, you know, it was, I had a dream. I really wanted to kind of make something happen, make a difference. Um, so just, just kept on trying it. So during this period, I'm sure, like you said, you've fallen on your face a few times. Share with us one of those moments where you did and you got back up and really what, what made you do that? Well, early, early in my career, um, I, I had built my capital from 5500 I built it to about 20000 And I got an order from a client of about $6,500, um, which, was, which was really exciting. It was quite a large order for me. And um, he gave me a check. He was a European guy. In, this was in Uganda. Gave me a check, you know, gave me his business cards. He looked really legit. His car had his company logo on it, everything. I loaded the the goods in his car, he left, I banked the check and it was fake. Oh my God. So I got knocked back literally uh, One quite third a bit. Of the capital gone yeah, gone. By the wayside. After a year of slogging it out. So, um, so it was obviously very challenging, it was heartbreaking, it was like, do I still do this? Do I continue? So you've had so many instances like that and, you know, it, it keeps on happening. Things like that keep yes. on happening. So do you think as an entrepreneur that that is something you should expect and just roll with or that's something that happens or doesn't happen to anybody? Absolutely. I mean, it's um, it's a part of the process. It's a part of the package. Um, you know, you're going to face challenges. Challenges were there yesterday. They're going to be there today. They're going to be there tomorrow. But it's how you tackle them, right? Having that positive mindset, understanding and realizing that that, that is going to happen and just getting on with it. Um, so talk a little bit about what do you think, you know, if entrepreneurs today really should embody in order to progress and get you know hopefully get to the kind of you know success you you've achieved in your career so I think um, one of my biggest inspirations um, has been my spiritual leader Morari Bapu mm -hmm. whose core teaching is three things it's truth mm -hmm. love and compassion I think you know those three words are so important they're, they're very simple to say but very deep mm -hmm. and I think if you kind of have that focus and that energy towards you know being honest being straightforward um, loving everything that you do loving everyone around you and being compassionate giving back having mm -hmm. a sense of giving back I think wealth is the worst measurement of performance wealth is the worst measurement of any type of anything I think it should, should all be about how much impact you're creating what difference are you making mm -hmm. how many lives are you impacting how many lives are you making a difference to so for being in a country like you know Africa and facing the challenges early on like you did in Rwanda, social impact clearly seems to have a big place in your heart. Talk about how your business and how your career and how your you know experiences have allowed you to give back to society. So we um, we set up the Mara Foundation three years mm -hmm. ago, which is our nonprofit social enterprise focused on young and women entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. um, we have three key buzzwords, which is you know we want to enable them, empower them, and inspire them. But the key thing has been that the way to do that has been three elements, which is mentorship, which gives them guidance, advice, handholding, um, incubation, which gives them credibility, visibility, workspace, and then venture capital, which gives them the, the capital that they require to do it. So that's how we, we go about it. And any last thoughts here as, as to what your experience has been here like at Taikon? Taikon's been excellent. Um, it's been the energy has been fantastic. Uh, it's been great. It's my first time to attend this, uh, so it's been it's been excellent. I mean, just the energy that's around here has been excellent. So. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much.